Hi everyone! While I've been working on tutorials, I wanted to take a moment and share with you some of the things that I've been working on in my own spare time. One of my favorite crochet designers is Janie Crow or Jane Crowfoot. She makes some of the most beautiful Afghan patterns I've ever seen and she really elevates the granny square to truly a beautiful work of art. So the one I'm working on right now is her newest pattern, the Spirit of Flora, which is available in the magazine Inside Crochet. And she's already posted four motif patterns, so I wanted to share with you the ones that I've done so far. So this is the first one she posted, which was four separate motifs that were joined together. And we had to make four of those, so here's my four that I've made. So I've made four of those. This was the second motif that she posted. And just bear in mind, she always says not to block your squares until the whole thing is put together. So there is some curling going on, which will be fixed when the whole thing is done. And there are my four squares of that motif. Here is the third motif. And again, just the, the detail is so beautiful on these motifs. I mean, her designs are just so incredible. When I saw this in person, I, I just, I don't know, I was just so blown away by the colors and just the whole thing was really beautiful. There are my four squares of that motif. And here is the most recent motif. Again, the detailing on it is just so pretty. I've only made one of these so far because it was just posted on the 16th. Another design of hers that I've been working on is the Bohemian Blooms. And I've been doing the Bloomsbury garden colorway and it has a different border and more motifs of these main four panels. So this is the first motif that I worked on and again it's just such a pretty pattern and I absolutely love all of the beads that are on all of the leaves. So I made eight of these and I'll just show you some of them because it's going to take up a lot of space. I have not woven in all my ends yet but there's my eight of those. And this is the other motif in that pattern, which also has beadwork on each petal. This is a really pretty one too. And I've only made four of these, but I believe I have to make nine. Four of these. And again, I have some ends that need to be woven in. I highly recommend weaving these in as you go along. This is a lesson I learned a little later than I should have. Um, I'm a lot better about that now. Like I, you can see the ones that I did later on. This one I was good about, but I wasn't always good. So please weave in your ends. If you're doing a lot of color work, you will spare yourself a lot of pain if you weave it in as you go along. And the first design by her that I ever made was the fruit garden, which is absolutely beautiful. This this is actually the acanthus motif is what made me discover her work. I was absolutely blown away by this. It looks like stained glass almost. I just think it's so beautiful. This one I just randomly made today because I have a lot of balls of yarn left over from this project. I made the fruit garden twice. I made it once for myself and then I made one that I gave away as a gift. The one I gave away as a gift I'll post the pictures of because all the ends are woven in. The one that I made for myself, I have here, but this was the first project I made with all of these ends that needed to be woven in. And I foolishly thought I could do this after the fact. And I made a little short making fun of myself for not doing the right thing, but it's kind of a mess. And I think, I don't know, one day I'm just gonna sit down and force myself to do this, weave all of these in. The blanket itself is absolutely beautiful. Attention to detail on it is so gorgeous. This acanthus motif steals the show. It's so pretty. These borders, I absolutely love this slanted border here. I absolutely love the border on this blanket, this wavy pattern here, and all the different gradations of purples and grays and pinks is so pretty. Even this little border here, I just absolutely love it. It's so pretty and so detailed. And if you see it in person, I feel like camera, the camera does not do it justice at all. This blanket is really big, so I'm not able to get the whole thing on camera, but this was by far my favorite project that I've ever made. And it just made me see how 
crochet really can be a beautiful form of art. And so if you're looking for something that's challenging and can really push your crochet to another level, and again, please weave all this in as you go along, please check out Janie Crow's work. I'll link her webpage in the description box. And again, if you do weave as you go along, I did this today. And when I was done, I was done because everything was just woven in. Anyway, I hope you liked seeing just a little bit of what I was doing on the side and I probably will post a little more content of things that I do outside of YouTube. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.